Love and hatred are two of the most intense emotions that humans can experience. They are often seen as opposites, but they can also be closely related. One way that love and hatred are related is that they are both often directed at people we care deeply about. When we love someone, we are invested in their well-being and happiness. When we hate someone, we may feel the opposite way. We may wish them harm or see them as a threat. Another way that love and hatred are related is that they can both be triggered by the same events. For example, if someone we love betrays us, we may feel both love and hatred for them at the same time. We may still love them, but we may also feel angry and resentful. Finally, love and hatred can also be related in terms of their intensity. Both emotions can be very powerful and can lead us to behave in ways that we would not normally do. For example, someone who loves someone deeply may be willing to do great things for them, even if it means putting themselves at risk. Someone who hates someone deeply may be willing to hurt them, even if it means breaking the law. Here are some specific examples of how love and hatred can be related. A parent may love their child deeply, but they may also hate the child's behavior when the child is disobedient. A romantic partner may love their partner deeply, but they may also hate the partner's infidelity. A friend may love their friend deeply, but they may also hate the friend's betrayal. A person may love their country deeply, but they may also hate the government's policies. A person may love their religion deeply, but they may also hate the religious extremism that they see in some people. It is important to note that love and hatred are not always related. It is possible to love someone without ever hating them, and vice versa. However, it is also true that love and hatred can coexist in the same person, and that they can both be triggered by the same events. Why is there a thin line between love and hate? One reason why there is a thin line between love and hate is that they are both very intense emotions. When we feel strongly about someone, whether it is love or hate, it can be difficult to control our emotions. Another reason why love and hate can be closely related is that they are both often based on the same things. For example, we may love someone because they are kind, caring, and supportive. However, if that person betrays us or hurts us, we may come to hate them for the same qualities that we once loved. How to manage the relationship between love and hate If you are struggling to manage your feelings of love and hatred for someone, it is important to remember that you are not alone. Many people experience these complex emotions at some point in their lives. Here are some tips for managing the relationship between love and hate. Acknowledge your feelings. It is important to be honest with yourself about how you are feeling. Don't try to suppress or deny your emotions. Talk to someone you trust. Talking to a friend, family member, therapist, or other trusted person can help you to process your emotions and develop healthy coping mechanisms. Set boundaries. If you are struggling to interact with someone in a healthy way, it is important to set boundaries. This may mean limiting your contact with them or avoiding certain topics of conversation. Take care of yourself. Make sure you are getting enough sleep, eating healthy foods, and exercising regularly. Taking care of your physical and mental health will help you to better manage your emotions. If you are struggling to manage your feelings of love and hatred for someone, it is important to seek professional help. A therapist can teach you how to understand and manage your emotions in a healthy way.